Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Look us up on Roku in the sports section. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. On iTunes, one word, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk week four of the NFL. Premium picks are listed at DwyerVIP.com. Every week, though, I like to highlight one money line play that I think is worth a bigger bet. Right? You're not going to get rich on it, but it should be a decent rate of return. This week, I like the Pittsburgh Steelers over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on a money line play. The Steelers are favored by a little bit more than a touchdown. I don't like the point spread because it's above the magic number of seven. Right? I would encourage you to look at point spread distribution. When a line gets higher than seven, you should proceed with caution. Right? But here we're just recommending Pittsburgh on a money line. Let's talk about why. Tampa Bay right now is really having a slew of bad luck. And that extends to their offensive coordinator, Jeff Tedford. Right now, Jeff Tedford is one of these guys who's very well respected. He has helped multiple quarterbacks become NFL starting quarterbacks. Right? He's one of the more imaginative offensive minds in the business. The problem is that Jeff Tedford right now is having health problems. He recently had a heart procedure, right? And so Tedford won't be calling the plays this weekend against the Pittsburgh Steelers, right? Sometimes in betting, it's not about the players. It's actually about the coaching staffs. You'll have somebody else who wasn't hired to be the offensive coordinator calling the plays for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, if you look at how the Bucs have done offensively this year, it's been awful, right? Jeff Tedford's replacement, quite frankly, hasn't had a lot of success, right? He's been calling the plays, and that offense is ranked down around where Jacksonville's offense is ranked. Right? Now keep in mind, by contrast, the Pittsburgh Steelers, who understand that they're playing in a very competitive division, right? A division that includes the Bengals, the Ravens. They understand they can't afford to lose any games to teams they should beat. Teams where they're favored by more than seven points. And understand, the Steelers have one of the best defensive coordinators in the business, Dick LeBeau. So it's a complete mismatch when you consider that the person who will be playing the offensive coordinator for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers is a newbie. And he's going to be going up against a motivated Pittsburgh Steeler team where the defensive coordinator is the Grand Master, Dick LeBeau. Right? I think the game is a mismatch. But I think it's an even bigger mismatch off the field when you look at Tampa's offense and you look at Pittsburgh's defense. Let me go one step further. Josh McCown has had some problems. Right? You have disarray at the quarterback position for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Right? They'll probably be going on to plan B this week. That's exactly the kind of situation that's not reassuring if you're a supporter of the team. Right? You're going to have, you know, either Josh McCown or his backup going up against the Steeler defense. Let's just say you don't have the comfort level you would have knowing that an Aaron Rodgers or a Drew Brees or a Peyton Manning is going up against the Steeler defense. In that situation, you could say, hey, regardless of who the offensive coordinator is, there'll be an offensive coordinator at the quarterback position on the field. 
You don't have that here. Mike Glennon is a second year player. Right? So, the game I would invest a little bit extra on. I believe the Steelers on a money line are about a minus 300. Right? The money line play I like this week. The game I would bet a little bit extra on would be the Pittsburgh Steelers over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I would stay away from the money line for a host of reasons, one of them being <coughs> that there's a certain level of sportsmanship in the league. And once you get to lines of greater than seven points, right, you run into situations where winning teams, even if they're more than seven points better than their opponents, will run the football, run out the clock, not run up the score. Right? And here, you have two friends on the sidelines, two guys who are both disciples of the Tony Dungy school of coaching. Right? Mike Tomlin and Lovey Smith. Right? Both of these guys historically learned a lot about the game from Tony Dungy. Right? I personally question whether Mike Tomlin, if he has a big lead on Tampa, is going to continue to hit the gas. I'm guessing in the spirit of sportsmanship, Tomlin, like many coaches in the league, is going to run the ball, do what's necessary to win the game. Run out the clock, not run up the score. So while I'm hesitant on the point spread, I'm not hesitant on the money line, I expect the Steelers to dominate the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I also understand that Tampa was a nice Vegas pick before the season. A lot of people were talking about Tampa and the over in terms of wins and losses. But keep in mind, back then the assumption was that offensive guru Jeff Tedford would be leading that offense. He's not things change. I think Tampa is in a bad spot here. I like the Steelers on the money line. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com and for premium picks, visit us at DwyerVIP.com. Thanks for stopping by.